In this video, I'm going to design this straight gear rack. We have top view and front view. The length of this gear is 164mm and the width is 16mm. The overall depth is 20mm whereas the depth of this or thickness of this gear is 12mm. The part is made of galvanized steel. The unit system we are going to use is MMGS. So let's go ahead and design this. For this part, I'm going to start the design from top view first I'm going to draw a rectangle with 164 as length and 16 as width rectangle okay smart dimension this is going to be 164 and this one here is 16 okay now I'm gonna use uh, extra boss or base feature and I'm going to extrude it for a thickness of or depth of 12 mm features extrude boss or base the depth is 12 mm okay now I want to add the cylindrical structures here and uh, the extrusion depth is 20 mm the diameter of the cylinder is 16 mm which is same as width so right click on top surface select normal to sketch circle the center is this the midpoint of this edge and uh, draw a circle till it meets the end point here okay and i'm going to draw another circle just like the first one okay as you can see it is fully defined because it has proper endpoints and the diameter is 16 mm we don't have to measure mention any dimensions here or give any smart dimension go to features i'm going to use extruded boss or base as you can see it is getting extruded only in one direction but as per the design we need it in two directions and uh, here the distance between this face and uh, this face is 4 mm the total thickness of the gear is 12 mm so 12 plus 4 it is 16 so we are left with 4 on the upper side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use direction 2 for this so this is direction one and this is direction two for direction one we need only four mm above the surface so i'm gonna make it four make sure that match result is selected and for direction two i'm gonna give the value as 16 okay so now we have the basic structure now we are left with adding holes and the teeth first i'm gonna add holes here right click on the surface select normal to the dimension of this hole is 7.50 which is the radius sorry which is the diameter sketch select this face and with this as center draw a circle okay smart dimension this is 7.5 okay I'm going to draw another circle here and the diameter of this circle is 7.5 okay now I'm going to use extruded cut feature and for end condition I'm going to use through all okay so we added holes here now it's time to add the teeth First, I'm going to draw this shape and then I'm going to use extruder boss or base feature to get this and later I'm going to use linear pattern to get this number of teeth. I'm going to use front view for this or front face. Select normal two, And I'm going to go to sketch line. Here first I'm going to draw a horizontal line and then i'm going to make this shape now i want to add a relation between these two lines here i'm going to make them equal okay smart dimension the width is 2 mm and uh, the height of this tooth is 2.5 mm from here till here it is 2.5 also we have an angle here that is 40 degrees so select this line and select this line 
it's going to be 40 and the last dimension that we need to add is this so the distance between this point and this edge is 18 so I'm going to select this point here and I'm going to select this edge and it is 18 now the sketch is fully defined what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to features I'm going to select extrude boss or base and uh, the extrusion should be in reverse direction so I'm going to select reverse here and the depth should be 8, 16 which is the width okay now we are done with adding one tooth here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, linear pattern to pattern this on this face so for direction one I'm going to select this edge as you can see we have an arrow here showing the direction if it is in reverse direction select this button or select this option here it will change the direction and for spacing as you can see the spacing is 6 mm so enter the value as 6 and the number of instances is going to be 24 under features and faces for the first one the first one is feature so open this design tree or expand this design tree and select boss extrude 5 which is the tooth okay now we are done with designing the gear uh, we need to assign the material to check the mass right click on the material edit material the material we are going to use for this part is galvanized steel and the units is MKS apply now to check the mass I'm going to go to evaluate mass properties as you can see the mass is 300.19 grams save the file and exit